Hi, I'm Dr. Gottenberg from Pelican Rapids, a chiropractor. I've had a practice here about 32 years, and what I thought might be an interesting discussion today is, is that one thing we often see a lot of in our clinic here is conditions where there's been overuse causing um, some form of inflammation. So perhaps the names that you're probably the most familiar with would be like tennis elbow or tendonitis in the shoulder or the dreaded plantar fasciitis, the pain that um, radiates from the heel to the forefoot. And I thought what would be interesting too is, is that there's a lot of different approaches to this. Um, physical therapy, the podiatrist, chiropractors take different approaches. So what I want to do is I want to talk a little bit about some of the things that we do. Some things are unique in the order of importance um, that I think provides the best result. One of the things that I think um, perhaps is the most important is when certain activities, whether repetitious or from a single injury, like a pull or a strain, or in cases when there is rep repetition where you may have micro tears or micro trauma is when the body develops scar tissue, a dense matty fiber that begins to affect how other tissues, uh, including things like muscles, tendons, and ligaments move, um, or how they move past each other. So in the case of a muscle, when we have scar tissue, the muscle tends to become tight and taut and shortens and the result is tendonitis. So what I want to talk about today is a technique that we use and I think is really, really important. Its name is ART. It's an acronym for Active Release Technique. The technique by itself also involves an examination. The doctor is palpating. For example, in our case today, the foot or ankle. I'm feeling for tension, tightness, tautness, or the texture of the tissue. And tissues might be things like muscles, tendons, or ligaments. Then with pressure on that area, the foot in our case is taken through specific movements that ultimately release scar tissue. People can feel better almost immediately. The second thing that we do in our clinic is adjust. We're chiropractors, so we think that's important and we, I like to clear up any type of um, misalignments in the foot and ankle. The third thing that we do is following a treatment we often like to tape the foot or instep. Uh, the reason why um, this word we often use is plastic deformation. In other words, if I take a piece of ceram wrap and stretch it, I can never put it back to where it was. So when someone leaves, we want to make sure the foot is supported in a good, healthy position. The fourth thing um, that we can do with people, uh, for example, with plantar fasciitis, is we may at some point recommend an orthotic or an arch support. In some instances, we even use something like this, which is a boot that will hold the foot at night in a preset position. And last of all, we'll incorporate stretching. I want to finish this program today by giving you some advice based on experience and what I think works the best as to what's the most important thing to do and when to do it. There are a lot of people that come in that end up with an orthotic almost immediately from someone, a physical therapist, a podiatrist, perhaps even another chiropractor. And if they still have pain, no one is happy. So ultimately, this would be maybe number three or four on my list. In other words, when someone begins to feel better, ultimately we want to support good posture. What I like to do almost immediately is we like to incorporate active release technique to address any type of an underlying adhesion. There is no amount of cortisone or Advil you can take that will fix that. Secondly, 
we like to manipulate or adjust the foot and ankle, teach stretching exercise, number three, and fourth, we like to tape the foot when the person leaves. If they ultimately come back and are, begin to make progress, this is when I think an orthotic is important. Um, in the case of the elbow or the foot, there's always bracing. In other words, someone feels better, they just simply can't hold the correction. And in those cases, we use a brace. Um, for any information or uh, an opinion, whether or not uh, you have something that could be helped with active release technique, um, you can reach us here in Pelican Rapids or Monaga. Thank you. Thank you for watching Wellness for Life.